Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. An electrostatic precipitator, ESP, is defined as a filtration device that is used to remove fine particles like smoke and fine dust from the flowing gas. It is the most commonly used device for air pollution control. Today we are going to discuss the gas distribution screen and how it helps in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP equipment. How to do the gas distribution test in the electrostatic precipitator? We will discuss the below points. First topic, why is the GD, gas distribution, screen required in the ESP? Second topic, purpose of the GD screen in the ESP? Third topic, GD test, pre-requirements. Fourth topic, GD test procedure. Fifth topic, benefits of gas distribution test. Sixth topic, what are the problems faced by uneven gas distribution? Next, we understand, why is the gas distribution screen is required in the electrostatic precipitator. Point number one. A gas distribution screen is used in the inlet and outlet fields of the ESP. Next, point number two. Maintaining similar gas flow and dust conditions in each field is very significant. Next, point number three. Gas distribution screens were designed by using computational fluid dynamics to satisfy the recommendation as per IGCI and ICAC EP7 to have uniform gas distribution across ESP to enhance the performance. Next, point number four. Physical gas distribution test will be conducted to ensure effective utilization of the collection area after completion of ESP erection. Today we are going to discuss the purpose of the gas distribution screen in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. Point number one. Gas distribution system consists of a gas distribution screen and guide vanes, splitter plates. It is used in the inlet and outlet fields of the ESP. The screen comes with a modular design which is manufactured from steel sheets to be hung within a frame at the inlet and outlet casing area of the ESP in order to create a uniform distribution of gas flow throughout the ESP. Point number two. The flue gas enters the ESP through an inlet and will flow through the gas distribution screen, which the gas distribution screen has holes on it so when the gas strikes the wall of the screen, the flue gas is forced to split up evenly through the holes leading to the uniform gas flow to discharge electrode and collecting plate further on. Point number 3. It is necessary that once the flue gas enters ESP, it must be brought to the velocity that is best for ESP. Therefore, the use of a gas distribution screen can also help slow down the gas velocity at the inlet area. Point number 4. It is also necessary to control the gas flow at the outlet area with the gas distribution screen to prevent an upstream of the gas velocities. Next, please refer to some photos of the electrostatic precipitator, ESP, gas distribution, GD, screen. The gas distribution system consists of a gas distribution screen and guide vanes, splitter plates. It is used in the inlet and outlet fields of the ESP. The screen comes with a modular design which is manufactured from steel sheets to be hung within a frame at the inlet and outlet casing area of the ESP in order to create a uniform distribution of gas flow throughout the ESP. It is necessary that once the flue gas enters ESP, it must be brought to the velocity that is best for ESP. Therefore, the use of a gas distribution screen can also help slow down the gas velocity at the inlet area. It is also necessary to control the gas flow at the outlet area with a gas distribution screen to prevent an upstream of the gas velocities. Today we are going to discuss the purpose of the gas distribution screen in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. Point number 5. 
maintaining similar gas flow and dust conditions in each field is very significant. Point number 6. The size and shape of the gas distribution screen vary according to the geometries of the collecting plate and discharge electrode and the desired resistance to flow of the flue gas, while in some cases the shape and the size of the holes may also vary for each single screen in order to adapt to an unevenness of gas velocity and dust density for different locations so as to improve the uniformity of the resulting gas flow. Point number 7. For good precipitation results, the primary flue gas flow should be distributed as evenly as possible within the ESP. Gas velocity must be reduced to a relatively low level and turbulence must also be controlled before entering the ESP for good precipitation. Today we are going to discuss how to do the gas distribution screen test in the electrostatic precipitator ESP. What are the pre-requirements that need to be fulfilled before starting the GD test? Point number 1. If new ESP, erection of ESP internals and their alignments, guide vanes and splitter plates in inlet funnel and inlet and outlet funnel GD screens with deflection plates installation were completed. Point number 2. If old ESP, the plant unit should be in shutdown condition. Point number 3. Full load, 100%, air flow is to be maintained. Point number 4. ID fans and FD fans are ready for full load operation. Point number 5. The ESP inlet and outlet duct connected to the ESP are thoroughly checked and all the foreign materials inside the ducts and ESP are removed. Point number 6. The ESP inlet and outlet duct dampers are in operating condition. Today we are going to discuss how to do the gas distribution screen test in the electrostatic precipitator ESP. What are the pre-requirements that need to be fulfilled before starting the GD test? Point number 7. The GD test measurement stake points distinctly marked on the edge of the collecting electrodes of the first field. The vertical spacing between the points is approximately 1.15 meters. Point number 8. The velocity readings shall be taken in every gas pass. Point number 9. The readings are taken between the first and second fields of ESP. So its manhole door of ESP is kept in unlocked condition to facilitate GD test team entry and exit. Point number 10. A digital or analog type hot wire anemometer shall be used for measuring the velocity. Point number 11. GD test will be conducted either on individual ESP or combining two ESP as per site condition. Today we are going to discuss how to do the gas distribution screen test or GD test in the electrostatic precipitator ESP. Point number 1. All the parameters are to be kept constant during testing. Point number 2. Negative draft to be maintained as minimum as possible. Point number 3. The GD test is conducted by running the ID fans and FD fans gradually increasing the RPM and to establish velocity inside the precipitator nearer to the design value. Point number 4. Required to keep all the parameters and flow constant during testing. Point number 5. Clear communication methodology should be followed between the test team inside the ESP and the team from outside the ESP. we are going to discuss how to do the gas distribution screen test or GD test in the electrostatic precipitator ESP. Point number 6. Using an anemometer velocities are measured at pre, 
predetermined locations between the first and second field. 7. The gas distribution test was conducted by hot wire anemometer. The test is conducted in each pass of the ESP and the readings are taken between the first and second fields of ESP to get a flow pattern through the first field. The readings are taken at pre-decided locations from top to bottom and from left to right in each pass. 8. The test is conducted by establishing airflow by operating both the sets of ID fans and FD fans. The velocity readings shall be taken inside the precipitator fields. The velocity inside the precipitator shall be near the design velocity. Today we are going to discuss how to do the gas distribution screen test or GD test in the electrostatic precipitator ESP. Point number 9. If required, some minor adjustments, adjusting first or second or third GD screen deflection plates, of the deflection plates are to be made during trail runs. Point number 10. The test results are compared with the standard norms given by IGCI, Industrial Gas Cleaning Institute. Point number 11. The acceptance criteria shall be based on IGCI norms. Point number 12. The variation in velocity between the streams shall be with plus or 10% of the theoretical velocity. Today we are going to discuss how to do the gas distribution screen test or GD test in the electrostatic precipitator ESP point number 13. The readings are then tabulated which gives us the readings with all details like average velocities, deviations, accordingly, graphs are also plotted and the same are analyzed. If any flow concentration is observed in the readings or readings below average are found, then the diverter adjustment is proposed are done to get a uniform flow pattern inside the ESP pass. Please refer to the photos while conducting the GD test for better understanding. Today we are going to discuss how to do the gas distribution screen test or GD test in the electrostatic precipitator ESP point number 1. The readings are then tabulated which gives us the readings with all details like average velocities, deviations, accordingly, graphs are also plotted and the same are analyzed. Point number 2. Please refer to the GD screen sample readings for better understanding. Red color, high velocity zone, velocity more than 100% actual required, yellow color, low velocity zone, Velocity average of less than 100 to 85% actual required. White color, a very low velocity average of less than 85% actual required. Next, we are going to discuss what are the benefits of the gas distribution test or GD test in the electrostatic precipitator ESP. Point number 1. Gas velocities at every location and all the gas passes can be measured. Point number 2. It is used to know the particle retention time inside the ESP. Point number 3. Honeycomb or splitter plate performance design can be improved. Point number 4. ESP performance will improve. To know the equal gas flow through all the passes. Point number 5. ESP performance will improve subject to healthiness of electrical fields and ash evacuation. Point number 6. Correction to the GD screen diverter plate can be suggested after the GD test. Next, we are going to discuss what are the problem faced by uneven gas distribution in the electrostatic precipitator ESP. 
Point number one. Uneven gas velocity distribution across the electrostatic precipitator can deteriorate overall performance in several ways. Point number two. If anti-sneakage plates are not provided in the fields, gas escapes through the hopper and above the fields. Point number three. Create a high velocity zone causing re-entrainment of collected dust. Point number four. Poor gas flow distribution may cause dust to settle on deflection plates which disrupts gas flow. I hope to all understand the gas distribution screen and how it helps in the electrostatic precipitator ESP equipment. How to do the gas distribution test in the electrostatic precipitator. Today we covered the topic of the GD test procedure, benefits of gas distribution test. What are the problems faced by uneven gas distribution? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.